you have. Good evening, Jerry, from Los Angeles. Anyone who's watched a second of the O.J. Simpson trial has probably heard of the name Johnny Cochran by now. Cochran, who represents superstar clients, tonight turns his attention away from O.J. and puts it on W.W., as in Memphis Mayor W.W. Harrington's efforts to be re-elected to a second term. Los Angeles, the hub of the entertainment industry and the home of Hollywood's rich and famous. The glamour and glitter of this town aren't usually tied to the politics of Memphis, but that's where Mayor W.W. W. Harrington enters the picture. I think it's very important that people understand that Memphis is an emerging center of commerce uh, in the South, and they want to help to continue the leadership. They believe in Willie Harrington. Arriving at Los Angeles International Airport, Harrington is here to pick up some financial support from some of L.A.'s politically powerful leaders, including O.J. Simpson defense attorney Johnny Cochran, and one of Dr. Harrington's newest allies is former Los Angeles Mayor Tom Bradley. Well, I'm pleased that Mayor Harrington is moving about the country, touching base with his friends all over the nation. And for now, Mayor Harrington is planning even more fundraisers in other cities with hopes it will eventually lead to a mandate with voters in Memphis. As you know, my race with Dick Hackett was won on racial lines. I'm hoping that the re-election will be won that's on unity. And we're going to embrace all people, and it takes money to run an effective campaign. Former Memphians and others living in Los Angeles place down the welcome map for Memphis Mayor W.W. Harrington. For him to come to Los Angeles, communicate with the people or the powers that be here, and to go back to Memphis, he can only facilitate their growth. High on this reception's who's who list is O.J. Simpson lead defense attorney Johnny Cochran. I had the pleasure of going to Memphis um, about six weeks ago now uh, to address the National Conference of Black Mayors. I got a chance to meet Mayor Harrington. I'd heard about him before. I got a chance to meet him and talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, and I was extremely impressed. In an exclusive interview, Cochran tells me there's nothing personal for him to gain from getting involved in this campaign. Absolutely nothing. I have absolutely no plans or anything. My, I'm just concerned about good government everywhere. And like Cochran's support, this reception was more than just about handshakes. Others are also offering financial support to Harrington. But is his style of campaigning and fundraising good for the city of Memphis? Well, why not? We want Dr. Harrington to be known all over the world, not just in Memphis, but everywhere. He's a wonderful person, he's a wonderful mayor, and we want the world to know about him. Alex Coleman, WREG News Channel 3. The mayor of Memphis! Thank you. We're glad to have you, baby. Welcome to Los Angeles, High on the Hill at Universal Studio City Walk. It seems only fitting that the mayor of the home of the blues would be honored in Los Angeles' premier blues club, B.B. King's. I think it's a great opportunity for me as a political uh, person in one of the largest cities in America, and certainly it helps to market Memphis. And I've had an extraordinarily good time, and I've been raising money to help to fund my campaign. This dinner and fundraiser for Harrington was thrown by O.J. Simpson lead defense attorney Johnny Cochran. In an exclusive interview, Cochran tells me helping raise money for Harrington's re-election is vital to Memphis, even though he says he stands nothing to gain from it personally. Oh, absolutely. I think it's really time for all of us to come together and kind of network and really try to, you know, improve our lot across the nation. It's, you know, we talked about networking earlier, and now's the time to do that. Mayor Harrington's whirlwind visit through here in Los Angeles also included talks with some of the city's most prominent leaders, both past and present. Those leaders gave him advice on everything ranging from campaigning to how to better promote Memphis. Harrington also did some brainstorming with the man who led the city of Los Angeles for two decades. Former Mayor Tom Bradley says Harrington's fundraising efforts should not be viewed as unusual. He says it's done by most big city mayors and it helps promote their cities. Uh, you spread the word about a great city and uh, it also gives you the ability to increase the resources to help you run your government and to run for re-election so it, it's a necessary trip a necessary trip that Harrington says is important despite concern from those against outsiders getting involved in Memphis politics we have to go out and market our city we cannot have a small-town mentality 
Reporting in Los Angeles, I'm Alex Coleman for WREG-TV News Channel 3. Nestled behind all the glitz and glamour of Los Angeles, there's a place that's churning out a musical sound that distinctively belongs to Memphis. That sound, with its roots dug deeply into the home of the blues, is coming from B.B. King's Blues Club in Los Angeles. The blues have been something that's been hidden. Uh, for a long time with record companies and, you know, not really out there in the mainstream of, uh, you know, music. And this club came here and it's an anchor, it's a harness and a connection to blues music. Blues music has been coming from this club for almost a year. And it's attracting a who's who's list of celebrities like O.J. Simpson defense attorney Johnny Cochran. I oh, absolutely love it. I've been here before. I love it. It's well run. Food's great. Entertainment is outstanding and we love it here. What many love is the three-level club that caters to more private parties and showcases Memphis musicians who help put the city on the map. In case you're wondering just how true to form B.B. King's Blues Club in Los Angeles is to Memphis, most blues enthusiasts will tell you it pays a great tribute to Memphis and its music. We're trying to export Memphis music, uh, the stack sound, the blues sound, B.B. King, Albert King, uh, really, really do something. I mean, we, we know how powerful Memphis music is. We want to export it wherever we go. Right now, we'd like to take time out to welcome our good friends from Memphis, Tennessee. And where it's going is all over Los Angeles and the world. That is a musical sound that says Memphis, Tennessee. You know, we have the Memphis town playing here in the club, like Johnny Taylor, Otis Redding, and this is the kind of stuff that I do because I, I was born in Jackson, Tennessee, and so this is my roots. So it's like Memphis and Los Angeles. Alex Coleman, WREG News Channel 3.